Good morning, YouTube friends, and welcome back to my channel. To those of you that are new, welcome. I am so happy to have all of you guys here. I am in an exceptionally good mood today. I have no reason to be, but again, I have no reason not to be. I woke up, the sun is shining, and I have another day to work freaking hard achieving my goals. So yeah, today's gonna be a good day, and it's gonna be a good day because I decided it's going to be a good day. I think every day can be a good day if we decide that it will be. I know we can't always control our circumstances and the things that happen around us, but you know what we can control? We can control how we react and we can control how we respond to those circumstances. If we change the way we react and respond to things, the things around us will eventually start to change. We all have our own struggles that we go through and our own challenges that life throws at us and we can't always predict those challenges that life's gonna throw at us. But there's certain things that we are in control of and the main thing that we're in control of is our mindset and our perspective. That's something we can have control over. So when life throws us those inevitable curveballs and those challenges that just knock us off our feet, remember, you're in control of your mindset, you're in control of the way that you handle, react, respond, and attack those circumstances. Keeping a positive mindset and changing your perspective on things is ultimately gonna make you more productive in handling those challenges and overcoming them. My biggest tip for waking up and having a good day is deciding that you will have one. So let's have a good day together, guys. All right, guys, so before I go to the gym, I'm going to mix up a little pre-workout. I'll show you guys what I'm going to take. I do plan on doing a full supplement video. I asked in my last vlog if that was something you guys would be interested in, and a bunch of you guys said yes, so that will be coming. But for right now, I'll just show you what I'm having for my pre-workout. And here it is. I'm going to do about four ounces of this pink rosé. <laughs> <laughs> totally, I'm kidding. Actually, I'm going to be doing one scoop of the NLA for her, her amino burner. The sour apple is one of the new flavors and it is so, so, so good. It essentially has a full serving of BCAs in a scoop and then it also has properties that help with fat burning and thermogenesis. So it's gonna help promote an increased metabolism, it's gonna help promote thermogenesis and thus help promote fat burning, but it also includes those necessary aminos which are also going to help preserve your hard-earned muscle. So it's kind of like the best of both worlds. It's helping me promote fat burning as I'm on this cut for my prep but then it's also helping me to preserve my muscle because I am getting in that full dose of BCAs as well so sour apple her amino burner and then I'm also going to be taking one her carnitine carnitine is a stimulant free fat metabolizer so you can stack it with something that is stimulant based aka it has caffeine so I can stack these two together because the carnitine is stimulant free but it does help metabolize fats it helps to break down stored fatty acids and convert them into energy so I'm going to do one her carnitine with one scoop of my her amino burner and then I'm going to head out and hit some shoulders
working side to side I'm talking to you I see you standing over there with your body Feeling like I wanna rock with your body And we ain't gotta think about nothing I'm coming at you Cause I know you got a bad reputation Doesn't matter cause you give me temptation And we don't gotta think about nothing all right guys back from the gym and my post-workout meal is going to be four ounces of white fish some asparagus and some white jasmine rice i'm going to just heat it up with my white rice that i cooked in the rice cooker and i'm going to heat it up in the saute pan and okay. dig in hello there we are hey there andrew's here and we are finalizing th some things for the app um, I think we're still on track for like early March launch. Nope. I'm getting some really awesome feedback from you guys about um, just being excited, as excited as I am about the launch of the app. So I can't wait for you guys to see all the features and everything that's included. So we're just finalizing everything today and making sure that everything is absolutely perfect. So here's a little glimpse at what it will look like when you're going through all the exercises in the library. They are categorized by muscle groups, so abs, arms, back, cardio, chest, glutes, legs, and shoulders. Yes, I did make a special section just for glutes. <laughs> so when you heart an exercise, it puts it into your favorites, so you can save the different exercises that you like or that you want to do on, let's say, your back day or your arm day. Down here are some of the other features. If you guys remember me talking in the last video, I'll be giving you journal prompts so that you can reflect on and write about your progress and just kind of be mindful of your journey. There's going to be a meditation feature where I'll be walking you through guided meditation practice. As you guys know, I'm huge on self-care, so I think this is definitely something that's important not only for your physical health, but mental and emotional health as well. Coming soon! Amanda, are you excited? So excited. I'm gonna use it. Mama Bucci said she was gonna download my app. She did. She was like, <laughs> oh, that's gonna be really helpful. <laughs> I'm so excited. Comment below if you're excited. <laughs> Hey guys, so as I'm finishing up this meal, I kind of just wanted to check in with y'all and talk to you a little bit about where my mindset is right now that I am three weeks out from the Arnold Classic Australia. I know that you guys come to my channel for motivation and you see me in positive spirits and encouraging you guys along your journey. And I 100% want to provide that for you guys. I want to motivate you. I want to provide you with the encouragement and the inspiration and the tools and, and information and all the things that you guys need to be successful on your journeys. That's what fuels me. That's my passion and my purpose is to do everything that I can to help you guys. But let's be real, I'm human too and I don't feel strong-minded 100% of the time. I would say up until probably this last week, I've been in incredibly great spirits throughout this entire prep. I make a conscious effort when I'm prepping not to complain. Yeah, that's not to say that I'm not hungry sometimes and I'm not freaking exhausted sometimes. No, that's not to say my body doesn't hurt. But at the end of the day, I make the conscious effort not to complain because this is my choice. And at the end of the day, no matter how hard it gets, no matter how bad I'm struggling, I know that I'm doing what I love and what I'm meant to do. And so I make a conscious effort just not to complain. I don't know what it was about yesterday, but I think just maybe the reality of the fact that the show is three weeks away, maybe I'm starting to stress about a little bit about am I gonna be ready, am I tight enough, am I condition is my conditioning on point? All the little thoughts that I try to push to the side and not let get the best of me because I'm a firm believer in just trusting the process and doing everything I can, working as hard as I can and trusting the process. Yesterday, I was sitting right here at my computer working and all of a sudden, I just started having these like awful feelings of anxiety. And anxiety is something that I have struggled with in the past. If you guys have watched previous videos, you may or may not remember me talking about this and just different things that you know I've done to manage it and cope with it. It's been a very long time since I've felt incredibly incredibly anxious. I started getting those feelings that come on when you have like a full-on anxiety attack. Um, my heart was racing, I started sweating, but had the chills at the same time. But all while those physical symptoms were happening, 
I couldn't pinpoint in my mind exactly why I was feeling that way. I was literally sitting at the computer working on client emails. Anxiety is one of those things that is unpredictable and it could come on and it can hit you like a ton of freaking bricks at any given time. I think that that's honestly just what happened to me yesterday. You know, like I said, I've done lots of things over the years to help myself manage it and cope with it. And that's why I stress the importance so much of self-care, whether that be meditation, journaling. Those are two of the things that I do a lot of and that's what's helped me tremendously. But at the same time, I have also slacked a little bit on doing those things. And I really think that my lack of self-care was evident yesterday. I had to stop everything that I was doing, get up from the computer. I had to go into my room, shut the door, turn down the fan, turned off all the lights. I cried <laughs> and then I meditated for a good probably 40 minutes. And yes, after, after that, I felt like a huge, sense of relief. Man, it, that was a very scary moment yesterday. And I share these personal things with you guys because I want you to know that I'm human too. And although I make efforts to stay positive and keep a positive mindset, I do a very good job at that, I think. I think there's always something to smile about and something to be grateful for. There's always something positive you can find in any situation. Like I said, I'm human too, and I don't feel mentally strong 100% of the time. I just don't. That's normal. Experiencing moments of weakness is absolutely normal. I ran into Emily at the gym today and I shared with her a little bit about how I was feeling yesterday. Without me even saying anything, she said to me, I know exactly why you're feeling the way that you're feeling. She said, because you're doing things differently this time and your body is changing at a different rate because you're doing things differently and it's freaking you out that you aren't going to be ready. And I'm like, girl, <laughs> you nailed it. Even though I know I'm confident in my approach and I'm trusting the process, it still is it still is a mental struggle and it messes with your head when you are used to seeing yourself look a certain way at three, four weeks out. You look differently this time around. And perhaps I do look ready and I'm just in my own head. And that's very possible. That's the crazy thing about this sport. You have to learn to kind of like step outside of that and just put in the work, work your butt off, make sure that your methods are solid and that you trust the process. I have to remember to do that and I needed that reminder from Emily today. I had to remember the reason I'm taking a different approach this year was because my feedback last season was from the judges was that I was coming in too conditioned, over conditioned, too lean. I was looking a little stringy on stage and so I've changed my approach a little bit this time around to maintain my fullness a little bit longer and it's working i'm seeing it but i'm also not seeing the level of conditioning yet that i'm used to seeing my feedback was always come in fuller come in fuller come in fuller and so i know that i'm doing what i need to be doing it's still gonna mess with your head when you're used to seeing something different at this many weeks out but i was grateful to have that conversation with emily today and she just kind of reminded me you know karen you do so much to stay strong for so many other people and to help other people be strong it's okay to feel weak sometimes yourself. And I reminded myself that it's not a lack of moments of weakness that make us strong. It is our ability to encounter moments of weakness, but then overcome them. Feeling weak sometimes is normal. It's part of life. We cannot allow those moments of weakness to define us. We can't allow them to stop us dead in our tracks and scare us from moving forward. And that's something that I just won't allow. I won't allow these moments of weakness that I have to determine my ability to succeed. When you experience those moments of weakness, don't allow yourself to stay there. Strength is feeling those weaknesses, experiencing those challenges, hitting those mental and those physical roadblocks, but then continuing to push forward. So here I am checking in with you guys, being as real and transparent about my emotions and letting you know that I go through moments of struggle. I 
feel moments of weakness too, but I will not let that define me or determine my ability to keep pushing and to succeed in what I know that I am meant to do. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know I've been hashtagging that phrase faith over fear a lot. It's just something that I sort of live by. Just like moments of weakness, fear is inevitable too, but as long as your faith stays stronger than your fear, you will always have the ability to persevere. I am feeling a bajillion times better today than I was yesterday. I made a conscious effort to start my day with 15 minutes of meditation this morning and it honestly just sets the tone for the day and that's truly why I'm adding a meditation feature in my app because uh, it's been such a life-changing thing for me that I want you guys to experience the great things that just being present in the moment and taking care of yourself mind body and spirit can do for you thank you guys so much for letting me kind of like pour my heart out to you you guys see me training you see where I'm at physically when I'm prepping but I want to kind of share all of it with you prep isn't just a physical thing prep is very much mental and emotional and I want to be able to share all the highs and all the lows with you guys because I think that in order for us to truly truly appreciate the highs we've got to push through the lows too I appreciate you guys more than you know for being here with me every step of the way along this journey your positive and your kind words and just everything your support honestly means the world to me and so thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for being here i love you all so much